morning guys welcome back to another video this is another 30 minute unedited uncut video of me fishing i'll do as i did before i'll do chesty and i'll run the rear camera you guys seem to like both angles but uh yeah i <laughs> for some reason you guys like these videos and uh that's that's cool with me i'm happy to make them they're fun to make especially when the fishing is good and uh today i'm really going to just focus on frog fishing for about 30 minutes as always and it is 6:48. now we'll say it's 6:50. so we are going to set our alarm for 7 20 in the morning of course 7 20 30 minutes on the california delta fishing a frog let's see what happens Hi. Frog of choice lately, live target. Orange yellow belly. And it's the biggest size they've got. Fishing this with a Denali Rosewood frog rod. My lithium rod, my traditional frog rod, is actually being repaired right now. If you watch one of my previous videos, you guys know that I made a mistake and I set the hook when the line was wrapped around the guides and I stripped like four guides off of it. So. This rod, the rosewood rod, was my first Denali frog rod, and uh, I loved it. It was better than any other frog rod I had owned, but now feeling this rosewood, which is a discontinued rod, it actually feels a little heavier than the lithium. The lithium is definitely lighter. So it's kind of goofing up my cast a little bit. Got an outgoing tide right now. So, it's typically my favorite time to fish a frog on the delta. Water's moving, that's always a good thing. And cue the comments for early hook set. I know. I guess it didn't matter too much. Is that a toad? Uh, not a toad. It's a good one. It's a hungry one. Well, it's a good start. Choked it. Nice healthy one. Okay, well, this might make for a fun video. Right by that tree. Dang drive, it's got some grass on it. It's a ton of grass in the area I'm fishing. So the propel drive isn't really gonna work out too good. Okay. Man, that fish was angry. I thought they'd be up against the bank, but that fish was was not. But that could have been kind of a fluke too, because there's you know there's a tree right there too. Last time I was here with the outgoing tide, they were right up against the bank, 
super shallow. Oh, this frog, I believe the, co the color is actually called emerald, if you're wondering. Again, live target frog. Denali frog rod. Quantum smoke reel. Eight one to one. It's crazy, I've noticed that this is my fastest, fastest reel. And I've noticed with my other reels, they just feel slow when fishing a frog. The seven to ones, like the eight to one really just makes a big difference. small one. Surprising. There should be. Surprise, we haven't gotten another bite yet.
sitting in only three foot of water here. So maybe they're on the outside. Just got shallow. It's kind of a trick with the delta. You gotta figure out where they're setting up. Like what depth, just like any, you know, body of water. But on the delta specifically, it's usually pretty reproducible. Like if they're sitting in four or five foot or even like a foot. It's usually what most of the fish are doing. Oh, something spooked right there. Stuff looks good. Not sure why we're not getting bit. Try up shallow again. Make a move. Torquedo. Oh, I need some grass on there. Let's see, it wants to go. Get the grass off. There you go. Dragging my torpedo through a bunch of that grass that my drive was getting caught in. So, I had to shake it off. Just gonna make our way up, kinda past this turn. We'll fish the turn and see if we can run into some fish up here. Coffee. Cheers. Go up a little further. Right now I'm going 4.3 miles per hour. I've got 87% battery left on my Torquedo. I've already run this probably for 40 minutes this morning, just getting to the spot. A lot of people, I mean, it's kind of a controversial topic, you know, electric motors, mainly in kayak tournaments. And you know what? I've talked about it before. I'm not gonna argue. I mean, I do agree. I think if you do have a motor on your kayak, it is not really a kayak anymore. It's not human powered. However, I've also said, so long as it's legal in tournaments, I'll use it. And I mean, it just, tournaments aside, makes fishing a lot more fun, a lot more efficient. Saving energy, you're not killing yourself all day, especially if it's windy or you really wanna cover some miles. It's just a nice convenience thing to have. So, but like I said, I'm, I do believe that, you know, it's not really a kayak. We have a motor on it. So now I'm in 10 foot. The steeper banks, especially when the river turns, seem to be pretty good holding spots. 
for fish. tree up here I mean you know there's a fish there it's just figuring out how to catch it hopefully they want the frog cast. This be an interesting fight if I get a bite right here. I'm all up on a tree. I don't know I'm off, but if they're gonna bite a frog, it should be this retrieve right here. Interesting. So I was gonna commit to a frog, but Looks too rage menacey. One sitting in that tree. This is a good way to get him out. I think they'd be on the back side, but you never know. to the frog. Oh man, I really don't want to. Oh. I was going to say, I do not want to go get. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a lot of water in my kayak right now. And I'll tell you why. This is I forgot to secure the hatch cover down. And when this torpedo's on, it pushes a lot of water up. And uh, I forgot to secure the hatch cover down. Even with the hatch cover down, it still pushes water up through the drive cover. So I gotta actually seal that a little bit better. But that's why I have a bunch of water in my boat right now. feeling this spot we're gonna make one more run and just finish out and fish this 30 minutes because obviously that's not a ton of time but there's one spot up here that I definitely caught him last time oh shoot grass luckily this torpedo actually cuts through this grass pretty good I know there's some on it, so we'll bet reverse it real quick. Okay.
So <laughs> unfortunately this is gonna cut or kill probably two or three minutes just to get to this next spot. But I, I know there's fish over here that I had good luck on last time uh, with a frog. So well, let's check our time. What is it? It's uh, phone's all messed up. 7.08, yeah. <laughs> only 12 more minutes. I'm hoping to catch at least two more fish, make this somewhat entertaining. If I don't catch two more fish, then, well, I'll still post it. But, uh, probably should have just started here in this good spot, I'm thinking to give you the most action-packed 30 minutes I could provide. But yeah, it is what it is. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but uh, as far as the tournaments left in the year, we've got the big one, the KBF event on Clear Lake. I think that's August 25th, I believe. I'm not sure if this video will release before that or after, but that's going to be a fun one. I'm actually going to head up to Clear Lake for like four or five days and pre-fish and obviously do the tournament, which is it's a two-day tournament. Um, and then we've got another kbf event in september i think it's maybe the 22nd which is a kbf delta event it's an open launch so anywhere on the delta so that should be an interesting one um and then we've got the final yakabass event of the year at sugar barge and that's october 6th maybe something like that so three looks like just three more tournaments for the end of the year um for the rest of 2018 and uh kbf national championship luckily i qualified early in the season it's on the red river in louisiana and that's march so be doing that for sure 2019 um might try to make a cats event or a texas tournament on the way to the red river if it lines up schedule wise and then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I'll be, honestly. I would assume California, but you know, you never know. I might move somewhere else and fish a tournament trail there, or who knows. But that is the lineup for tournaments for the rest of 2018. There might be another one mixed in there, depending, but that's what I have now. All right, so this is, let's just get fishing. This is the spot that I really thought I'd get some bites on this morning. So, let's do it. Hopefully we can put another fish or two in the boat for you. This is, like I said, an area I had some pretty good luck last time. Last time, they were right up against the bank with a very similar tide and water level. Actually, this is the area I had one on the frog that broke me off. First time I broke off on a frog on the Delta. I broke off frogs before, but that was in New York and those were pike and pickerel breaking me off. Should be one right there. I'd be really surprised if I don't get a bite in the next minute. Especially under these trees right here.
cutting some grass. come when you least expect them. That's a good fish right there. Hmm. Uh, I might have to put that one on the measuring board. I am in a month-long tournament and I think that'll probably be a nice one to measure. And it's probably only like 17 and a half. Let's see. Jesus. Okay, that's not how you hold a fish. Back it up a little. Hmm. Seventeen and a half. I don't know. I think we can do better than that. We're not going to want that at the end score, so just throw them, throw them back. Okay, well there's two, two good ones, two decent ones, not good ones. Working that frog slow, kind of unintentionally there. Maybe that's a, a clue. And we're probably running close to the end too, as far as time. Tempted to let this run another 15 minutes or so, but 45 minute video, that's, that's kind of long. <laughs> Beautiful cast. So you guys can see how many terrible casts I have with these 30 minute videos.
time has got to be getting close. Probably only got a minute left. Definitely not the most action-packed 30 minutes, but uh, caught a few, or caught a couple. And that's the alarm. Let's finish this cast up and we'll turn it off. Alrighty, guys. Stop the alarm. All right, that is it for this video. 30 minutes unedited, two fish, both decent fish, but uh, that's what I could do. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, if you want more of these 30 minute POV unedited videos, then just leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, I'll keep doing them as, so as long as there's a, a, a want for them. So yeah, that's today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.